guys, and welcome back to Spaces Arcade, and welcome to Jurassic Park. Guys, this is another sensational release from the VPN Workshop team, VPW, running on VPX in VR, and I have to say, I feel dirty. I do, guys. I feel dirty. I feel like someone's come over to my house while I was out, left a real Jurassic Park in my collection, and then took off, just leading, leaving the words or the letters VPW on a note in the kitchen. And I feel like I didn't have the opportunity to thank those behind those three letters because it's getting ridiculous guys. The, these releases now are so realistic, the physics are so good, the table, the lighting is so perfect that it is just like having the real pin. I, 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 I don't know how else I can explain it, um, and especially when you're in VR, because the tables, I keep saying it, is the size of a normal table in front of you in your living room. Although, obviously, in the living room here, we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> Got a T-Rex over here. Quite really nicely done, too, because that T-Rex doesn't actually get in the way of the gameplay. And a Velociraptor behind us. <laughs> Just it's behind us all the time while we play. Maybe released from here guys so a really nice vr environment to enjoy this game but you know i'm not i'm not trying to gloss this up guys i i, I just can't even anymore with these vpw releases they're just so so good look at the look at the lighting too look at the beautiful lighting on that dinosaur and the table and these pop bumpers just the attention to detail you know th there was a time where I, I I could always I felt like there was always something for me to say something for me to critique and go you know a little bit here if that was a little bit you know this is a bit bouncy this is you know can't do that anymore guys I can't I can't I just hop in now and play so Guys, get this. If you haven't got it, go to VP Universe and get the stable. And there's a, a, a stack of other VPW releases that have been happening lately, and I've been actually wanting to show those as well, but I've just been inundated with all sorts of stuff going on. Tonight, when I put this on, I thought, nah, bugger, I've got to, I've got to film it. I've got to film this right now. All right, let's get in and play some Jurassic Park. Full props to the author who did the color D and D, which looks spectacular. We've got the ball picked up straight away. The T Rex gets eaten, goes down the throat. Man, this just plays so nicely. It's such a great data east game too. Like I'm, I must admit, I'm getting more addicted to data east or data east, how you want to say it. Complete the egg. Um, there's some classics, absolute classics, and this is one of them. Oh, shoot. What the lighting, but look at the lighting. Oh, 
just me guys but I've played this before on VPX releases and I'm pretty sure ah oh shit pretty sure I haven't had like the mosquito I, I get the stampede the run 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 one all the time I have previously anyway um, I just I don't know if some of the codes can correct it although this is come to think of it I did have to get a different ROM so that must be it actually so they're using a um, an official ROM uh, for the table so I, I don't know much about it but that must be part of it they must have changed that up a bit not sure what else is different but that's something I did notice Freaking incredible. So beautiful. The lighting's so good. The physics are perfect. I'm at a, at a loss of what to say. Just one of the nicest endings of a pinball machine as well. Just you want to soak it in. And then into, into Data East's uh, classic bassy music of the era. Of course we're going to play again guys. Of course. Well, guys moving with the, with the um, shake of the table. Check it out guys. Check that out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, that was <laughs> that was a good good game. Look at those reflections of that red light. Um, let's let's go again and let's let me try to, to actually play the game. I know it's real 
though, because my ball doesn't last long. I do remember an earlier version from way back and again hats off to all the authors for just the evolution that's happened, nothing to take away from previous efforts, but there, there has been a few that have been just, just too easy to play and it's like I know I'm not this good. And yet now with all the physics just perfectly recreated, it's showing me up for the hack that I am.